many of the issues and challenges associated with the development of very large systems and very complex products uh, is the need for systems engineering. When I was the uh, Secretary of the Navy and had a chance to review many different development programs ongoing, uh, everything from ships to uh, aircraft and uh, IT systems, and found that invariably uh, those programs that had employed uh, a reasonably developed systems engineering approach were doing far better. But it is a set of processes and a set of approaches which enable people to be able to deal with some of the uncertainties associated with that process and to be able to uh, work from those requirements to establish an appropriate design. And I've now had the pleasure of having uh, several students uh, after they've uh, graduated and left and found jobs uh, right back to me to tell me how valuable they found the class. I've had some students uh, say that uh, it helped them immeasurably in terms of understanding how industry works. They've been trained for many, many years uh, in terms of assignments and examinations uh, which have consisted of well-posed problems. In the real world, it's a lot more complex than that. Uh, very few problems are well-posed. Uh, in many cases, there's insufficient data, and in most of those cases, actually, the purported requirements often are conflicting. One of the difficulties in teaching people about systems engineering is that you have to put the various activities into context of a major development. And so I try to bring uh, some perspective to the students by using a number of case studies uh, that uh, run the gamut of everything from civil engineering examples uh, like the Wilson Bridge or the Big Dig in Boston uh, to aircraft development examples. We talk about automobile uh, design and development and we talk about uh, ship design and development. I've become somewhat of an advocate for systems engineering and I've uh, tried to use the opportunity that's been afforded to me uh, as a professor of engineering practice here to try to teach some of the basic principles. And it also helps underscore in many aspects the multidisciplinary nature of uh, many of the developmental challenges that systems engineering is trying to address.